Hi, my name is Daesh, and this is Zach Wells, and we're going to show you how to install the case fan and boot up the operating system and install your necessary drivers for your computer to run. Well, here's the case fan, and it's you can easily find a spot for it. Ours is going to be right here, and we prefer the logo to be facing outwards out of the computer, so that means that the air will blow out of the computer, not into it. You need four screws to install the case fan, and you install those by placing the screws in diagonal from each other that you make sure the case fan goes in properly. You have four specific screws and four spots. Now these screws are actually like thicker than regular computer part screws so they're pretty easy to distinguish from other. <laughs> nice. There you go. Alright, so now you've installed this case fan, make sure that you also have another case fan installed just for better circulation so that your computer doesn't overheat. Alright, next up is installing the R-Pring system. Don't need a rift for this part. You don't need a rift strap. So what you want to do is you want to hook up your computer first. Make sure that you have a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, and the necessary ports on your computer to have this all come together. So I'm going to plug this all in right here, make sure everything's secure, then plug in the power. Make sure the power's on. Yep, power's on. Before you turn it on. Alright, now that everything is in place, make sure to turn on the computer properly. Alright. Alright, ready? Alright, there we go. Make sure, sure your monitor is on. on. You sh it should have one beep if it turns on correctly. For the beep. Take a minute. That's one beep, one beep is good. If you have more than one beep, then you'll have an issue and then just you can Google the answer. To boot up in the BIOS, you want to spam the delete button. Then you want to change your boot options in the settings and boot mm -hmm. menu. Change your first boot to USB hard disk or any USB selection that you have. Or if you're installing your operating system on a DVD, so then you want to select new slash DVD. But we're installing Windows on a USB drive, so you want to set it to that. Press F10, and then if you go ahead and plug this in, right. just take it, and you can find a port on the front. Which we have two ports right here, <coughs> one right here, one here. And then you can take it, plug it in. Nice. And then it's done. Now you come back over to the computer. Make sure that you save all your settings and reset the computer. Wait for it to load back up. There's the beep. There's Windows. Windows is not loading fast. Alright, so when you're booted up into Windows and you are shown this menu, this is for Windows 7. Now choose your language to install, choose your time and currency format, your keyboard, which for us is US, hit next, and then hit install now. The setup will load. You want to go ahead and read what this says, then press accept, and then push next. Since we're doing a clean installation without any other operating system already being installed, we're going to hit custom. Alright, so now that we have our drives recognized, we're going to hit the partition or the disk that you want to install your operating system on. Click it and then click next. You want to hit yes. This is installed, it's going to auto restart. And since you don't want your computer to boot up from the CD drive or the USB drive again, you want to go back into your BIOS and change the boot to go to your hard disk, which in, which in case of us is this one. You want to save it, reset your computer, make sure that it boots from the hard drive or your operating system is installed. Now everything is done properly, it should boot up to the operating system as it is right now, which is great.
Alright, now oh, that Windows has installed, uh, your computer should restart a couple times during the installation. And now you want to make a username for your computer. I would just suggest putting in your first name and then leaving the computer name uh, to default. Hit next. Then type a password, and we're not going to have a password on here, so we're just going to hit next. And you're going to use recommended settings. You're going to switch to your time zone, and we are in Eastern Time. Make sure the date's correct, which it is, and hit next. Windows 7 should finalize all your settings, and then boot up. Alright, another one on our desktop, we have to install our drivers. Um, to do this, you need the CD that comes with the motherboard, and you need to put it in your optical drive. Go ahead and put it in. Make sure the CD is clean and that the optical drive supports the disk. Alright, now the disk is in place, keep your computer some time and it will read the disk. You should get a little menu popping up and you want to run dvdsetup.exe or whatever your exe file is for your disk. Alright, <coughs> once you have this window open, you want to hit total installer and make sure you have everything selected for all the drivers that you want to install. Make sure all these things are checked and then press install. Give it a while and it will install all your drivers. Finish. Alright, on a little side hand note, make sure that you have access to the driver system before you do anything. Um, you want to have your CD on hand before you even install your operating system because this is a very crucial step. And once your drivers are installed, you'll have a little message saying that the installation is finished. And you want to go ahead and click OK to reboot your system. And that's all there is to installing a computer. Thank you for watching.